Ja. Heute ist es mal dunkel. Na dann. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. We need to get off this roof as fast as we can. It's not safe down there. We can't just walk through the streets. You planning on growing some wings? It's taking an immense amount of willpower to not make a crack about that suggestion, coming from the one-armed man. That joke will be funnier once we know if this worked. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. He lost a lot of blood down there. If you find yourself getting winded, or... Worse, you gotta let us know. Okay. Probably just need to go a little slower. And I know we can't afford dead weight, so... Don't treat me like I am. We won't. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. It's an extension ladder. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears a life jacket, okay? Something tells me. She's not gonna want to. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Here's a way down. Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wouldn't wander in the streets down there. She walked away from whatever accident happened. Well, that doesn't really mean much. Some poor bastard took a spill. Yeah, looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. Just need to figure out a way to get there. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Huh. Yeah. That could help. With the Bell Tower on this side of the hospital, and the mansion over there... Might be our way off this rooftop. I can make it to that bell tower. 
I could draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. No way. It's higher than this route for starters. Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Should be able to get me across the gap. I don't like anything about this. It'll take two seconds. We'll keep it secure on our end. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time? Yep. I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit. Try to find another way out of there? Way. Tons of them! Jesus! Now get back here! I think I have to jump! There's no way back! You can make it! It ain't that far! This motherfucker. <sighs> I got you. <sighs> Let's get the hell off this roof.
Holy... What the fuck? Come on, just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. This was Vernon. You think so? Definitely. Hey guys, Lee's right. It was Vernon and that support group. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their Make-A-Wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! We'll never find them. We would have done the same. Not like this! We wouldn't leave good people to rot! We've taken food! We've killed to survive. What's the difference? It's different! He says he feels bad about leaving Clementine behind. But the boat was an opportunity they couldn't pass up. Vernon probably planned this out the second he laid eyes on that boat. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually needs- Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two. You know, yourselves. Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Yeah. We gotta get out into some open spaces. You know that's what I'm for. This is bullshit. You might not even be around, so... With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Not. We can secure this place. Krista! Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny! Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Omi! What is it? Front doors! <laughs> Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! Now what? This is a big, sturdy house. It'll hold. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Shit! Get upstairs! Go!
Everyone get to the end of the hallway. This will slow them down. Get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. Can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. You all know where to aim. Get ready. better everyone okay Lee's still bitten shut up okay let's get out of here and keep moving kids right we got to keep moving think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves I don't know maybe well we're not going out through this window no latches no roof access and 30 feet straight down anyone have any ideas I bet this guy would he's got a resourceful air about him knock it off Dixon Kent the third industrial need Krista just trying to lighten the fucking tone we need solutions not stupid jokes I'm sorry so no ideas then can't we fight our way back through the house I've got a weapon what else do we have not much it'd be a goddamn mess going back down there we're no good to Clementine dead <coughs> Hey, you're not looking great, and you're warm. I'm okay. Don't. I'm okay. I'm Larry Parrot. No. What did that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. We have to go now. Like right this goddamn minute. Where, Lee? Come on. We're trapped. Do you think that worked? I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. We don't need to talk about it. I think we do. I said we don't. Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! Hmm. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No, this mansion butts up against the one next door. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we 
can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well... We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I was. The fucking thing, it, it happened so fast. You ever almost hit someone in a crosswalk? Almost? His license was suspended. Twice. Just... Wham! Thing was on me. Never saw it. Like someone in your blind spot. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone, too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We just get Clementine, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but it's not that easy. We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off! What good is it to plan around that working? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, hun. You can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? I can handle it. The pain, that is. I'm just really goddamn tired. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some grass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. It'll be alright, Kat. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. See that lump on his face? You did that? Might have. I'm sorry for hurting you in way, kid. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. Sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone 
don't keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... seen go. They got to do it their own way. Together. Don't you say that. You stick it out as long as you can. You do whatever you have to. I could have done more. Okay. Das machen wir in der nächsten Episode.